down on heaven, cast down on my knees. I'm laying with the devil, curse God above, forsaken heaven to bring you my love. Far too gorgeous as I'm half blind auntie. She's my harshest critic. I have to be perfect. She's not half blind, she's half deaf. So what time will you be back? Before midnight. I'll be awake. Do I not get a drink? Please. You want one? Yes. Still whiskey? Yes. But other things have changed. So vans with your name on at the docks. Yes, some things have changed. Tommy, I really wasn't sure about coming tonight. Well, it's a fire in the bedroom upstairs. My plan was that we'd sit here for a while, talk about old times, drink some whiskey. And I was going to tell you, I hadn't spent a day without thinking about you. And then we we're going to go upstairs and sleep together. But just now, on the way to opening the door, Change my mind. So just have one drink. Tell me how happy you are in New York and then you can go. You changed your mind. Hmm. So you can go. Well. As a matter of fact, I am happy in New York. And I am married. Oh, yes, yeah, he's, he's rich, I know. And he's sweet. And he's kind to me. So what makes you think that I would have gone to bed with you after one whiskey and some conversation? I was accounting for three whiskeys. How dare you? Doesn't matter now because I've changed my mind. I came here because you asked me. Even though he's sweet and he's kind to you. And now I feel like an idiot. Well then go. Still here. Are you so certain? That you're still in love with me. I was, but I'm not anymore. You're not armed, Grace, are you? No, I'm not armed. I don't carry guns. I don't have to. A sense of humor anymore, either. What are you talking about? Thing is, I hate reunions. I didn't want to sit here for hours talking about nothing and dancing around what we really want to say. 
So now, I know you're happy in New York. I know your husband's rich and sweet and kind here. I know you're unarmed. And you didn't come here for sex because you don't love me anymore. And it's only three minutes past. Another drink. I'll take that as a yes. It's good to see you, Grace. So you didn't light the fire? You see, my real plan was that we go out. I want to impress you. Now. Do you like Charlie Chaplin? <laughs> yes, I like Charlie Chaplin. Good. But I bet you've never heard Charlie Chaplin speak. I thought you were taking me to see Charlie Chaplin. I am. This isn't a picture house. No, it's not a picture house. <laughs> so how will I see Charlie Chaplin? You will see him and you will hear him, just like I promised. There you go, there's Chaplin. Oh my God, it's him. Mm -hmm. It's really Charlie Chaplin in person. Yep, he's in England, promoting his film. And how the hell do you know Charlie Chaplin? Why don't? I know his bodyguard, Wife MacDonald. It's that job there. I was a bookie in Birmingham, then he went to Los Angeles. You see, Wag is also a Roman gypsy, as is Champlin, but he keeps it a secret. Champlin was born on the Black Patch, a gypsy camp in Birmingham. That's why I gave Wag the job, even though Wag was on the run. Thank you. Thank you. So we all of our secrets, Grace. Come on, I'll introduce you.